Uh, just gonna sit here and watch my soap operas. Where's my remote? Oh, there it is. Uh, 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 I can't reach it. Hey, Jonathan, get in here and bring Bobby the remotes. Jonathan, the remote, bring it to me now. Oh, whatever, he must be distracted playing his video games or something. Let me call him. Hey, Siri, call my son. Boyney, your mother's calling. I'm not answering that. Boyney, you answer your mother. Okay, but she's not nice to me. I'll put it on speaker so you can hear. What? Hey, could you bring mommy the remote control? Well, I'm not coming all the way to your house just to hand you the remote. Oh, I meant to call my favorite son, Jonathan. I didn't know I was calling my other son, the piece of shit, Brookie. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think you should probably call Jonathan instead. Why, you don't want to come over and see your mother? We would love to come and see you! Is that your skank of a wife? What? I always knew you'd marry someone ugly. She doesn't mean it. Oh, and tell her I mean it, too. Mm, yeah, okay, good talk, Ma. Thanks for calling. Screw you! Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks for making me answer that. She only acts like that because she's old. She acted like that when she was 30. Ugh, stupid phone called the wrong son. Hey, Jonathan, get in here and bring me the remote. Jonathan! Oh, let me see what that stupid boy's up to. All right, I got all six tabs open in the right time stamps. Okay, Nami, let's rock. Jonathan, I've been calling you today. <laughs> Mother? Jonathan, what the hell are you watching? Oh, my heart. Oh, great. Now my brother's calling. Answer it! You saw how the call with my mom went. Barney! Okay, fine. Hello? Mom, dead! Jonathan, you don't have to make up a story just so I'll come over there and give you the remote. I'm not making it up! She's on the ground! She's not moving! She does that all the time, Jonathan. It's called being drunk. No, she's not breathing! Okay, fine. If you're that worried about it, just take it to a hospital and I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Jonathan, what are you doing? Just your questions. I'm trying to save her. Stay alive. Stay alive. Jonathan, she's going to be as dead as Disco if you don't stop. I already gave her mouth to mouth for 30 minutes. I even used tongue. Ew. Jonathan, just tell me what happened. Well, I was in my room, and then she walked in while I was watching uh, My Little Pony. Uh -huh. And then she grabbed her chest and fell over. Well, it sounds like she had a heart attack. No! Save her mother! Nurse Jackie, can you please get him the hell out of here? All right, come along, darling. Well, she flatlined, so I think she's probably dead. No! Masha, you can't die! Stay with me! Boyne, I'm so sorry about your mother dying. I'm here for you during this tough time. Tough time? No, this is party time, see? Boyne, you don't have to drink your sorrows away. No, no, no. This is a happy beer. I'm happy right now. Boyne, you're showing your grief in a weird way. No, I'm not showing grief because I'm not grieving. See how I'm not crying and I'm not sad at all? Boyne, I think you're in denial. No, no, no. You, you don't get it. I literally do not care that my mother died. It means nothing to me. This is a normal day. Boyne, when's the funeral? Uh, it's uh, about an hour from now. What? We gotta go get ready! We gotta go! Oh, I'm not going. Boyne, you're going to your mother's funeral. What, why? She wouldn't come to my funeral. She told me that to my face when I was in fifth grade. Do you know what that does to a kid? Boyne, we're going. No, I'm not going. You can't make me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, fine. Then I'm taking the remote. Oh, come on. What if I want to change the channel? Boyne, you get this back after you go to your mother's funeral. <sighs> okay, fine. I will make an appearance, and then we are leaving. Okay. Oh, God, it's an open casket funeral. My I'm not upset. You're not going to see a single tear come out of my eyes. She looks so beautiful. Just like she knew when she was alive. It's like I can still hear her saying, I hate Brooklyn Guy. He's such a weightless son. Jonathan, I don't really get why you're so sad. I'm honestly surprised she didn't die sooner. She smoked like a chimney. She loved me so much. Well, look on the bright side, Jonathan. Maybe now you can finally grow up and move out of the house. <laughs> you really think Mom's not going to give me her house? in a will, Brooklyn guy? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Jonathan, let's just go sit down so we can get this whole thing over with. Okay, one last kiss. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> okay, okay, I think one kiss is enough. Just, come, come on, come yeah. on, you big mess. Yeah. Come on, just sit down, sit down, be quiet. She's dead and she's not coming back. Yeah, that's how death works, Jonathan. Now shut up, it's starting. 
Hello and welcome to the funeral of Barbara Guy, who was taken from us too soon. True, true, way too soon. She was 75 and her lungs looked like raisins. I personally never knew Barbara, but she seems like a lovely woman. No, she wasn't. He's just upset because Mother didn't love him. I would refrain from shouting out during the funeral, please. Let's have some respect for the dead. Now, as I was saying, Barbara is survived by her two sons, of whom I'm sure she was very proud of. Huh, I didn't know we were telling jokes at this funeral. Barbara loved smoking and drinking, and drinking and smoking. Now he's telling the truth. The budget of this funeral was only $100, so that's about all you're getting out of me. But now let's hear from some people close to Mrs. Guy, starting with her son, Jonathan. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be able to talk? Yes, I just have to compose myself. Hello, everybody. My name is Jonathan, and I was my mother's favorite son. Don't you say a word, little guy. You know it's true. I know. I was going to agree with you. So for those of you that knew my mother, you would know she's a gentle, caring, loving, and just all-around amazing person to everyone. Except Brooklyn guy. She hated him. Uh, I've got an Uber Eats delivery. Oh, that, that, that's mine. I, I told you to leave it at the door. Oh, uh, well, you said you was gonna tip me in cash. Yeah, if you didn't interrupt the funeral. Well, how was I supposed to know it was a funeral? It's a funeral home. Well, here's your food. God. Honey, you interrupted the funeral. Shush, I'm hungry. Ugh. Thank you. This smells really good. Now, let's see here. Um, hmm. They, they forgot my straw. Man, they always forget the straw. I, now I gotta do a really loud open lid sip. Like I was saying, I have prepared a song in my mother's honor. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Do you mind? The fries will get cold. You should have ate before the funeral. I thought there were going to be finger sandwiches or something. Yeah. I apologize, everyone, for my brother's rude interruption. How inconsiderate. Well, that concludes my song. I would like to give my mother one last hug before I go. I love you, mother. I love you, mother. Oh, Lord. No, no, no. No, 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 Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, okay, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, put, put the corpse back in the coffin. Put, no, 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 put I don't it want you. No, you're going to have to. I'll never let go. Jonathan, this is embarrassing. Put it back. This yeah. is gross. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Mother. Oh, God. Thanks, Karen. Well, everybody, that was something, huh? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I guess it's time for me to make my speech. Uh, it should be pretty short, so I guess I'll just say... Boo! You suck! Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, so, as I was saying, I, um... Honey, honey, could you pass me the french fries? That they, They're getting cold. Oh, okay. oh, 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 okay! Yeah, thank, thank you. Sorry, everybody, I didn't eat today, so I'm just gonna pop one of these bad boys in. And they're cold. Okay, well that's great. That just ruins my day. This is the worst loss that happened today. This this has ruined my entire day. I was really looking forward to this. So, uh, what was I saying? I, I, I'm sorry, I lost all train of thought because of the french fries. That that really bums me out. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's right. Uh, I don't really know what to say about Ma. Uh, I didn't love her. She, she definitely didn't love me. You know, she, she hit me all the time and she yelled at me and told me I was worthless. So I don't really know why I'm here. So, I mean, I guess the one thing I will say is, suck it, Babs. How you like that? I'm alive and you're dead. Who's useless now, huh? Yeah, you're just worm food now, huh? <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Th this is the last chance I was going to get to say that to a face. So I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, hey, does this place have a microwave? I, I might still be able to save these. Unlike her, she's, she's done. <laughs> Honey, that was very emotional. I could tell she meant a lot to you. You weren't listening. Thank you very much for the nice words, boys. Now we will hear from Mrs. Guy's ex-lover. Ex-lover? Who the hell could that be? Hey, everyone. How's it going? Simmons? Oh, yeah. Hey, mate. Sorry about your mom. Uh, but where do I start? Uh... Yeah, I guess I'd like to start by quoting a song from Usher and Lil Jon. She was a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. Oh, she sure was. I'm gonna miss that old pooch. 
But anyway, we met on a disturbance call. She was trying to steal cigarettes from the gas station. So I showed up, arrested her, put her in the back of my cop car. But instead of going down to the station, we went back to her place and uh, I booked her. He did! He did! I heard it from my room! Yeah, you'd be surprised where she could put a taser. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. God, hopefully this is almost over. All lovely words were said today. Now if everyone will just follow me outside for the burial. We will now lower the casket into the grave. No! I won't let you bury her! I'm gonna have her casket to me so I can see her whenever I want! Jesus, Jonathan, you're making a scene at a funeral. You're embarrassing yourself. Shut up, you bastard! She never loved you! She only loved me! I was her favorite! You know that? You know she didn't love you! Yeah, I know. She told me all the time. Yeah, there, Jonathan! Shut up, you skank! She I didn't love you either! <laughs> oh my god, Jonathan, just let them bury the casket! Never! We'll go out for ice cream afterwards! <laughs> Two scoops? Two scoops! Okay. Amazing <laughs> grace! How <laughs> sweet the sound! No! You bury me with her! <laughs> oh god, this is no. a shit show. I, I, I can't you watch this. Me. <laughs> Boyne, you had to leave because you were just too sad? No, I left because it was a shit show. The casket busted open, Jonathan was being insane, my french fries were cold. I'm just glad that it's over. <laughs> oh, oh, Jonathan, why did you bring the corpse to my house? Will you hope mom will I go pee? Well, I'm not- oh, ew, 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 oh god, oh, oh. I hope this is a good time. It's clearly not, and how is everyone getting in my house? Well, it's time to go over your mother's will, so if you could come back to the office with me, that'd be great. What? what did, did, do I bring the body? Or? Preferably not. Uh, okay. I don't even know why I have to come to this. I know I'm not getting anything. What, Simmons, what are you doing here? I'm in the will, mate. How do you know? All right, let's get to reading this thing. I brought my... Uh... Ew, I told you not to do that. Anyway, Barbara's last will and testament. Yeah. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. All my belongings are, are to be divided between the two most important people in my life. Jonathan Guy and Officer Long Schlong Simmons. But what? To my perfect baby boy Jonathan, I leave my house, car, and bank accounts. To Simmons, I leave my used underwear and panties. Good for you. And to my ungrateful piece of shit, good for nothing son Brookie, I leave behind absolutely nothing. Tell him I hate him. Piece of shit. He's a bum who can't make up his mind on what job he wants, and he married a skank. And the rest of it is just cussing you out. Yep, that's about what I thought. Thanks a lot, Mom. I'm out of here. How was the reading of the will, honey? It went exactly like I expected. I got nothing and I was insulted. At least she cared enough to invite you. Yeah, how considerate of her. I'm just gonna drink my beer and be glad she's gone. Wow, I can't believe my ears told me what I heard when I heard it. What, Mom? I thought you were dead! April Fools! I was faking it! <laughs> Well, it is April Fool's Day. You faked your death for April Fool's Day? I sure did, because I wanted to see which one of my boys cared about me the most. It turned out it was Jonathan. He bawled his eyes out. What did you do? You sat there and ate cold french fries and drank a drink really loud at my funeral. Well, okay, I was hungry, and also I didn't think you'd fake your own death. Well, I didn't think you'd be a fat piece of shit and eat cold french fries at my funeral. Well, I, I, I can't believe you faked your own death. What kind of psychopath does something like that? Me, because I wanted to see who really cared about me. It turns out it was Jonathan and Long Schlong Simmons. Oh boy, did you hear what he said at my funeral? Damn, it was like it was like my casket was flooding in there. Wait, uh, uh, mom, mom, hold on, hold on. I, at the hospital, the machine said you flatlined. You were dead. Oh, well, my heart stops when I get blackout drunk. But then when I woke up in the morgue, I was like, I'm back, baby. Time to claim that life insurance policy. But, okay, you know what? I'm not coming to any more of your future funerals from now on. You're an ass. Come on, Jonathan. Since you're my favorite, I'll let you rub mommy's bunions. Yay! What a colossal waste of my time.